hello all and welcome back to new video and this video we are going to see that how we can create a shareable folder between host machine and the virtual machine so let's start a tutorial without wasting time so here in this video we are going to use windows 10 as our host machine and kali linux as our virtual machine so i have installed kali linux and virtual box so if you want to know that how you can install kali linux and virtual box uh, i have made a separate video on that the link is in description you can go and watch that so the first step is uh, let's go to our host machine that is Windows 10 and I am in C drive. So now here let's create a folder and name it as on network files. So I have created a folder here and named as on network files. Right click on this folder, go to properties, go to sharing and click on advanced sharing. Now here check the box, share this folder and go to the permissions and allow full control apply ok apply ok and close now our on network files folder is shared among the network now let's go back to our virtual box here you can see that in background the kali linux 2020.2 is running so here in the virtual box on the top you will find an uh, option say devices so go to devices then go to shared folder and click on shared folder setting now a shared folder window will be popped up now here at the right hand side you will find a small green icon say adds new shared folder so click on that and select the path where we have created our folder from the host machine so let's go to c drive and select our file so here we can see on network files and select this folder and select auto mount over here click ok and click ok now we have linked our shared folder to our virtual box and now we will access that in our kali linux virtual machine so first of all let's go to our file system and here you can see that uh, our shared folder on network file folder is over here so sf stands for shared folder but to access this folder we need the permissions because if we will double click on that uh, it will say the permission denied so open the terminal so let's go to our media folder and see so here yes so all the shared file and is under the media folder so you can see that there is a file name sf underscore on network file so that is our folder that we have shared from host machine to our virtual machine so to access this folder we need permissions so let's provide the permission so type sudo user mode click a g so a small capital G if you want this command it is in uh, description you can copy and paste type vbox sf so virtual box shared folder and the username so username you will find from your terminal so this is your username so copy it from there and paste over here and click enter enter your root password So now after doing, uh, so after providing the user access permission to our folder, so that is after typing this command. Just log out from the system. And log in back using your credential. So this is the important step to perform. If you will not log out and log in again, uh, it will again generate an error for the permission. 
so once you need to log out and log in again so now we can successfully access that folder so ls media and our folder so you can see that we can successfully access that folder now uh, let's mount that folder to our desktop so to mount that folder to our desktop you need to type this command so type sudo ln tick s then our path for our folder and where we have we want to mount it so home our username that is our account user account name and desktop so i want to mount it to desktop so i have provided desktop path if you want to mount to another folder you can provide that path over here and click enter so now let's go to the desktop and here you can see that our folder is mounted successfully so let's create a file and check whether it's shared between host and virtual machine so empty file and name it as test file so now let's enter some text to it i am kali linux and let's save this now let's go back to our host system and check whether that folder contains this test file which says i am kali linux so here is our own network file and here you can see that there is a file name test so let's open this file and here you can see that it says i am kali linux so now let's type i am windows 10 save this file and let's go back to our virtual machine that is kali linux and check whether it contains i am windows 10 so here you can see that it says i am kali linux and i am windows 10 so this is how you share the content or files between your virtual machine and host machine so how you share the file between kali linux and windows 10 so if you are getting any error while doing this process you can comment down below and hope you like the video and if you like the video press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the videos thank you for watching Thank you.